Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I think we should still uh, keep this on. Even though this morning we have good news from the governor. As I said, uh, starting from uh, March 15, big <coughs> gathering, like wedding, is allowed. Big crowd, okay? Lots of people, like they have thousands of people gathering for wedding. And they are allowed to do a separate intention. Except that they have to uh, wear masks and do not change dancing partner. Why do anybody want to dance or change different partner? Oh, that uh, not my business, okay? Just that I want to know, uh, everybody to know, we are very blessed. God has uh, protected us from this disaster since last year, uh, July the 5th. And by March 15, big gathering is allowed with uh, mass wearing, even dancing with a specific dancing partner. So we are happy to hear that America is about to uh, get over with this COVID-19. Today, we have come to uh, learn a very important part of our life. It's called anxiety. And uh, by the grace of God, I have found from this dictionary, there's Greek English dictionary of the New Testament. <coughs> Psychologists may tell you Anxiety is a mental illness. Of course, we know that anxiety can develop and getting worse until lots of people in the world, even in America, especially Japan has most, developed into a kind of a mental illness and they kill themselves or die for that. It can happen. Anxiety can develop to become a life-threatening <coughs> illnesses mentally. But please do not listen to them unless their treatment is free. If they get paid for psychiatry or psychologist, okay, psychology, because according to what I study on the Bible, no human understand the heart of human. Uh, the verse is in the Old Testament, I will not tell you. There is a scripture, one verse, in the Old Testament Bible, no human understand human heart. Therefore, according to my logic, no one can be a psychiatrist because no one understands the heart of man. <coughs> Not even me. I depend on the mighty hand of God. We have the absolute cure and it's free. Absolute cure and it's free for anxiety. Please be sure to know this one. Anxiety is a fear, F-E-A-R, fear, unable to overcome, solve, or tackle for things perceived coming in the future. Hey, also, do I need to repeat this? Anxiety is a fear. You are afraid. Tomorrow something may happen and you cannot solve. You cannot overcome. You cannot tackle beyond your ability. Think like that. And that's why you have anxiety. Okay? Anxiety 
is a normal part of life as long as we live on this earth. There will be anxiety once in a while. It will hit you because we know that nobody is perfect. Nobody is almighty except God. Only God is almighty. He has no anxiety. According to what I know in the Bible, reveal God has to God there's no future, there's no past, always present tense. God declared himself, I am the I am. Okay? I am the I am. That's my name. That means what? Forever to forever. So to God there's no future, there's no past. He knows everything. And he can handle anything. Therefore, there's no anxiety. Only God is able to have no anxiety. All human will have it. It's a normal, normal part of life. This is why each one has it once in a while. Even me, myself. As I said, I already told you, I grew up in lots of troubles, sickness, Disaster, everything. I went through a lot of things uh, in my life, especially as as I as I always mentioned, we have a professor who is uh, <coughs> who is an expert in history, especially Chinese history. Every historian, anybody know the history of China? I'm 81 years old. 81 years ago, what kind of life? in Hong Kong and southern China. Everybody knows that. It's a very, very disaster. And at one time, I promised myself, when I grew up, I will kill Japanese. They make my life so miserable. Why should they <coughs> have war? Okay, try to conquer China. Why in the world anybody come to China to kill people? Nobody should do that. No human should be do that. Okay? But by the grace of God, I believe Jesus. I know that was their biggest mistake in all human life. No one should ask a nation to go out kill any nation's human. No one should do that. Okay? But they did it. Eighty some years ago. We have eight years suffering at that time. To me, it is very, very clear and vivid. But by the grace of God, I become a minister, a preacher. And I know God tested me 35 years ago when I have time, <clears throat> opportunity to fly to, uh, at that time, from New York, you had to fly to Tokyo. Then change the airplane, or the, and then go down to uh, Beijing. And one time, the whole plane, everyone else is Japanese. I may be the one Chinese. And then suddenly, a voice in my head, God testing me, where I preach to the Chinese people, uh, to the Japanese people. And by the grace of God, I overcome. I preached it to them. I shared the gospel message with them. And one of them was a rich guy. He said, next time when you come to uh, when you come by Tokyo, stay overnight. I will pay for your steak and for your dinner for your dinner and for your hotel. And he gave me a cup, business cup. I never had the opportunity to visit uh, Tokyo. But I know at that time in Tokyo a stake is $30 American money 35 years ago. Okay, by the grace of God, I grew up all these years 81 years. I grew up in anxiety. At first, when I was born, I have to worry whether I can live tomorrow. I have to worry whether I have food to eat. Okay? I have to worry whether I have a place to sleep. <coughs> and that anxiety all the time. Therefore, at one time, I developed a 
say, keep t- telling myself, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And I tell everybody, don't worry, don't worry. Next time, when you see, when you hear someone say, don't worry, you, you know, he's worried. Only those who worry themselves, they will say, don't worry. I speak for myself, because I have a lot to worry. So I say, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, this sermon is comforting myself. And I hope all of you can take comfort also. And when I come to this scripture, I always, one thing, stand up very tall. A tall man over here, Moses. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. It's not worry. Uh, here I say, worry about anxiety. Worry and anxiety in psychiatry. There's something different. Okay? Because anxiety is a normal part of life. Every day, once in a while, you may hit with anxiety. Don't worry about it. It will come and it will go. Here is a kill. Free. Everybody can get it. But see ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Moses got this done very, very well for many times when he was, well, he's still young. <laughs> I told him, said, when he was young. See ye first, for the grace of God, when I was very young, I have the opportunity. God put me in a place that I learned to see ye first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Lots of people, when they see, I have a chain of keys. You have to know, when I, in my uh, junior high school, in that school, that school has elementary school, and then junior high and high school. You have all these classes, lots of people, a classroom and lots of stuff. Because I begin to help the school to do so many upkeep things. And they give me a key to this room, give me a key to that room, except dormitory, okay? Those rooms I cannot go. But uh, since I was in junior high, because I love to help the school to do a lot of things and church to do a lot of things. Uh, like make things, like kicking the chair, repair them, everything. That's why I have, I already at that time have a lot of keys. And of course, now I have a lot of keys because in here, yeah, key to here, key to there, lots of keys, okay? <coughs> Because I love to do lots of things in the church, in a school, where see ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. Always righteous, righteousness. Anyone do this, anxiety may disappear as fast as it comes. If we can do this, you don't have to be anxious about tomorrow. If you keep one thing at a time. This is one thing that I learned. One thing at a time. While you are young, remember that. After school is over, go straight home. Drink a cup of milk because you need nutrition, especially for your brain. Drink a cup of milk. And then sit down, do your homework. Concentrate one time, uh, one thing at a time. Concentrate. Very, very important. And you need Long time, lots of practice. Let me give you one example. <clears throat> because when I come, when I come to singing like this, I have to practice. So I have a piano in my uh, in my house. Okay, my study room. Every time when I play that piano, I don't spend that much time to play piano. I hit the key so hard. And if I play over half in one hour, I got sweat. But one thing is like that. I can play a song, like a song like this. I can play it many, many times. But 
when I sit down and play, and once in a while, I still touch the wrong key. The wrong key. But I know those who expert, they practice five to eight hours a day, seven days a week, every day, five to eight hours, sitting there playing the piano. They have ten fingers flying all over the piano. If you do that, your finger will automatically light up with your head, not your eye. When you play music, you don't use your eye. If you use your eye, you're not there yet. Ah, you don't use it, you, but you, you close your eyes. Concentrate. Because many times, I hit the wrong key. When I hit the wrong key, when some thought hit me, suddenly, I hit the wrong key. My point is, concentrate. I'm playing this song. This song, okay? This song, you have to touch what key to get the right sound. Okay? I hit the wrong key all the time. As soon as something hit me, something, some thought you pop up, you hit the wrong key. Okay? Bad. I hate that. <clears throat> but I don't worry about it. I can afford to hit lots of wrong key. <laughs> I'm not an expert. So I don't worry about it. Uh, anxiety can come and go. Just don't worry about it. Okay? Be not therefore anxious for the moral, for the moral were anxious for itself. Jesus promised. Believe that. Practice that. Ah, we have to practice. I practice for a long time. Sufficient unto the day is an evil thereof. We have this saying. Today's homework. Do it today. Don't let it stay there. Today, do it today. Sometimes I have to set my own time limit, my own deadline. If I don't finish, I don't go to sleep. That's why sometimes I have to work until 3 o'clock in the morning because I have to finish. This is today's work. I have to finish it. Today's homework, do it today. Tomorrow, we have a new one. You don't let the new one pile up on your old one. Okay? This is the key. I did that. I had done that quite a few times. Especially at the time in that 20 years, New Jersey Church of Christ sponsored, pay everything we need over here. Okay? And every month, I have to write a report to them. What happening over here? Report to them. I set my deadline every month. This report will have to be done by number seven. Okay? By number seven each month. For a few times, I write that report until three o'clock in the morning. I have to finish it. I set my own deadline. Okay? Concentrate on doing one thing at a time. Today's homework, do it today. Remember that, okay? Cindy and Joyce, remember that you, while you're young, establish that habit. Understand? Okay, while you're young, you can do that. Today's homework, you get it done today. Tomorrow, you're ready for the new homework. Take no thought for the moral. This is King James, only King James, there to translate this way. Take no thought. Why they can afford to say, take no thought? They don't even think about it. Forget it, don't care about tomorrow. Because they have a king, the emperor of England, king of England behind them. We know why KJV put, this, put it this way. They have the king of England on their back. Okay? The king of England 
assign them the job to translate the Bible. They translate this way. No thought for tomorrow. Actually, is don't be anxious about things will happen in the morrow. Yes, with the king's blessing, they can say, take no thought for the morrow. Whatever happened, the king will take care of it for us. What's the NIV translation? I found interesting in all these things. Therefore, do not worry. They use worry. Anxious, anxious, anxiety. They use the word worry. Do not worry about tomorrow. For the moral, tomorrow will worry about itself. They use the word worry. Of course, you can, like common people, anxiety and worry about the same thing, about the same thing. But when it comes to psychiatry, there's some different. That's what you call mind shallow study. I'm not in depth people. In psychology, in psychology, <coughs> why is anxious? Anxious and worry are different. There's some mistake over here, okay? In psychology, anxious and worry are different. Things perceived are coming in the future. You think it may come, may not as you think. Therefore, if you have anxiety about that. Your anxiety is wasted because it's not happen. Lots of things you think may happen, not happen. It will happen, not the way you think. Understand? Huh? So, don't worry about that. Okay, just like uh, two days ago, I, I had much less dream recently. Two days ago, I dream about after the church opened again, many people waiting outside want to come in. I hope that lots of your friends will come after we open up free to worship without math or whatever. I dream many times about that, but never happened. In Hong Kong, 50 years ago, happened a lot of time. Things perceived coming in the future may not as you think. Only God, <clears throat> okay, only God knows what is in our future. Like the second coming of Jesus Christ, Jesus said, nobody knows, no human knows when he will come back. Not even angel knows. Not even himself, no. Only God, no. The Father in heaven, no. Okay? <clears throat> but he does, he does not worry anything because he is almighty. Remember this, God's words. Okay? Remember this, God's words. Words in the Bible. Very important. It's free. Everybody can have it. Even if don't, you don't have a Bible. You can go to your neighbor or go to a school library have to have a Bible. Have you found a Bible in your school library? No? <laughs> we know God makes all things work. Ah, this is very good translation given. God makes all things work. No S. The S is here, not here. Together. All things work together. Only as myself, learning English from Hong Kong 17 years ago, we pay attention to this S. The S over here or over here. Hey, Audrey, do you teach this in school? There's a difference. The S, this S can be here, can be here, can be here, right? And make a little bit different. Very interesting. Here it says, God makes all things 
work together for good to them that love God. For good to them that love God. This translation is not good. Here is a translation. These are called according to his purpose. God make all things work together for good for those who are called by God's purpose. What does it mean? Like myself, I consider I was chosen to do this work, this way, this time. And to do that, starting from Hong Kong, how I did, and how I was trained to do this work. God has a purpose to choose me to do this thing. And today, I'm very happy to see Michael make his way here. He's so far away, okay? Not far away in long distance, but in driving. Okay, everybody's here, learn this lesson together. God has chosen us with a purpose. And remember that if you believe that, if you are anxious, if you are, what, think about that, okay? That idea is built in, in your system. It helps you a lot to overcome <clears throat> this thing called anxiety. Another very lot, I'm learning new phrases, new phrases. I use the word variant now. Variant word used in NIV translation. God make all things work. Nah, God make no S over here. God make all things, nah, the S here, work. Watch how they translate. NIV put it in all things, the S is here. Uh, the, the S is here. God works. You got one more S. It's God works. In their translation, in their thinking, it's God personally work. But in the original text, God made all things work. What's the difference? You do the work. Understand? Don't wait for, hey, Father, please do this for me. No, you do that work. God made all things work together for good for those who are called by the purpose of God, according to the purpose of God. Got it now? This is the correct original meaning. God called us with a purpose to do certain things. And if we do it accordingly, we don't have to worry. By the grace of God, recently, I did not say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And one time I remember, I said, don't worry, don't worry, too often. And someone may be like, why? I want to worry again. <laughs> How could we it? Or annoy it, okay? <laughs> but actually, because I worry myself, there's so much going on, okay? When I feel that, wow, so much, what I do with it? <clears throat> what you think may come, may not come. What you think may come, may not really come. If it really come, it may not as you think. Do you know the difference, Cindy? You think tomorrow what will happen may not come. Even if it really come, it may not the way it happened. Okay? Maybe something is pleasant. Maybe you find out, oh, I, I can do it, no problem. Okay? Therefore, your anxiety may be a waste of time. Okay? Remember, God will not let you, anybody, tempted beyond what you can bear. Memorize this. Hey, Talia, memorize this, okay? When you're in a hospital, working, you may face some uh, unreasonable, not really human patient. You know what I mean, right? Remember, God will not let you 
beyond you can overcome. You pray to God. Well, when I first came into New York City, New York City driving at that time even because I was from Hong Kong and in Texas, nobody drive past me. So it was very dangerous. I had to set my mind. When I drive out of my garage, I will not hit anybody. Understand? I had my mindset not hit anybody. <clears throat> so remember, God will not let you be tempted beyond what you can solve, what you can tackle, what you can overcome. Therefore, don't worry. When anxiety pop up, recite this word, anxiety fly away. God called me. I'm trained to do this work. Oh, you remember that? Moses had no problem. He know that. He's old enough. God assigned me to do this work. I can overcome. And I can do it well. Uh, our little daughter, Grace, is very blessed. Her mother is always able to come for her. She's in a very great job. All her talent, all this year, accumulate experience and talent. She is a very talented worker, okay? And she can overcome. She is ch being challenged right now. But she is happy she is on this job. Because this is the time to show people what we are, what we can do. <clears throat> when anxiety pop up, recite this word. Anxiety fly away. Need to pay how much money? Nothing. Free. That's why I say psychiatrists can tell you anxiety is a weak, is an illness for free. You can do this and you will get well for free. By myself, without Christ, you have to so have to be anxious, anxiety all the time. If you are by yourself without Christ. Especially right now all over the world, not just America, not just New York City. Anxious, anxious, anxious about it, anxious about that. If you're by yourself, you have to. You have no choice. And be ready to die in hell. It's bad, but it's reality. That's what the Bible says right here. I am a rest man, struggling and waiting to be in hell if by myself. <clears throat> okay. That's why this, this is the scripture right here, okay? Romans chapter 7, verse 24. By myself, I'm a rest man. W-R-E-T-H. E-D, rest from me. Okay? Stop going and waiting to be in hell. If you by yourself without Christ, you have to worry, anxiety, anxious, 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 anxious at the time. Right, right now, I know, especially refreshing, all these business people, anxiety, close down. <clears throat> I think I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Do you understand what it says? Let me help you with this one. I thank God through Jesus Christ because I have Jesus as my Lord. I believe Jesus, I worship him in Church of Christ. So then with the mind I myself serve the Lord. What is this? My soul. My soul. I love to do things, live my life according to what says in the Bible. But with the flesh, the body. Remember, we have soul, body, and spirit. Okay? With the flesh, that means the body. 
the law of sin. We love to do lots of things. And that is not according to the regulation that Jesus delivered that <coughs> set of rules to regulate human life. Here, the scripture made very clear. I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If I have Jesus Christ as my Lord, not by myself, I can do all these things. If, we, if by myself, I have to have, I will have anxiety all day long, all my life, and then until I die. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. See, strengthen me. God can strengthen me. Okay? Uh, and he said, well, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. We also thank God continually because when you receive the word of God, <clears throat> which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of man, but as it actually is, the word of God is at work in you who believe. We also thank God continually, okay, because you receive the word of God. This is really the word of God. Here, by the grace of God, today we can say we preach what is in the Bible. And everybody can check it out. Let God's word works in you. This is how God works in you. Okay? Let God's word work in you. As, as you know, I, I have I learned English. You have to be very careful to read these two words together. Word work in you. Let God's word work in you. This is the key. Hey, everybody listen very carefully. This is the word of God. Able to maintain your soul healthy and strong so that your soul can control your body not to do evil. Not to do <coughs> what is not according to the Bible. Okay? It's very simple. Listen to Apostle Peter's advice. This is Apostle Peter's advice. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Therefore, you don't worry about it. Okay? Cast your all anxiety to God. You pray to God. Please help me. Uh, I've prayed that quite a few times in the past. I fell into a deep pit and I don't know how to get out. So I, I, I pray, Lord, please help me. I know this is my mistake, and I'm here. I don't know what to do about it. Please help me. I came out. See, today I'm here. <clears throat> That's why you can you want to memorize all this scripture. Cast all your anxiety on him. Be sober. Be vigilant. Very important. Be sober. Be vigilant. Never be STUPID. Let Satan have all the STUPID. Because your enemy, the devil, Satan, is a roaring lion. Walk about. I hate this. A few days ago, one more time, you have these kind of people walk about, do graffiti. When I came in to do some work, the wall outside, graffiti again. I told myself, any time when I saw that, when I see that, I paint it over right away. And that's exactly what I did. This time is not too big a spot. 
It only takes about half hour to get it done. And of course, a brush. My paint is always ready under the staircase. Anytime where there's graffiti, I paint over. It was on the steel gate. I used gasoline to wipe it out. Learn that, okay? CD. Someday you have your big house. Somebody put graffiti. You drive your car. Somebody put graffiti on your car. You see lots of truck have graffiti, right? As soon as you find out, wipe it out, okay? With gasoline. Or they call it paint thinner. They can wipe it out right away as soon as possible. Okay? Satan can walk about. You see? They have time. And they do it in darkness. I always think they dare to do it right in front of my eyes. I will take a picture with them. I'll take a picture with them. I said, no, don't go anywhere. You want to go to Precinct 109. This picture will be over there. If you don't go by yourself, they look for you. Okay? <clears throat> These people walk about like Satan, seeking whom he may devour. I hate this, but Satan do it all the time. Thank God I'm a lot more sober and vigilant when I walk on ice and up and down on the stairs in my house. Since the time I flew up and land on number seven and bounce all the way back to the floor and hit my back on the last two steps. When away at the time when I fly down, a thought John Chen finally finished. I thought about it. That thought hit me. Hey, Robin, remember? <laughs> I told you quite a few times now, right? A thought hit me right here. John Chen finally finished. But I did not get hurt. Since then, when I walk that same staircase, <clears throat> I grab two sides make sure I will not fall again. I'm a lot more vigilant because I tell myself I will not have a second time. Hey Moses, agree? <laughs> I will tell myself I will not have a second time. I make sure I will not have a second time. Remember the time? You know that. You have me to walk, right? <laughs> Titus. My, my, my foot, okay? When I go past or near this same spot, my antenna rise up. <laughs> More vigilant. When you get hold one time, that's enough. Joyce, remember, you're young, okay? When you get home one time, that's enough. Knowing that the same affects, affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. All the people who believe in Jesus suffer that. Lots of them, especially in the first century. Yes, the devil may walk around as a roaring lion. Watch this. I can set myself against him. Got this? Take courage. Set myself against him. Set oneself against him. How many times do you hear I said this? Satan is, oh, this time I use retarded. I used to use STPID. Satan is stupid. Many times. He can do unrighteous. I can do righteous. 
When I face the Satan's people, I say, come closer. They run. Not me run. They run. By the grace of God, in my life, you read the history, what was like 81 years ago, 80 years ago in Hong Kong and Southern China, read history, what kind of life at that time. By the grace of God, everything works together. God makes everything work together for good for those who are called according to the purpose of God, okay? God has a purpose. And God protected us. We do not afraid. Just need vigilant. And I look, watch out, be vigilant. Satan may walk about. We can set oneself against him. Walk closer. Day one, not me. Not one time. Taking hair, 15, 20, 30 or 50, I don't care. By the grace of God, Satan can, do, can done evil. I can do righteous. <clears throat> Remember, Jesus promised, the Bible said that, through Jesus Christ, the one strengthened me, I can do all things. This is one of those little old things. Fifteen of them. What? What for? Why? Uh, why? Uh, how? how uh, what can they do? <clears throat> now, let's come to a conclusion now. Back to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. I have this down here. Absolutely not under Satan. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. You can overcome anything. God promised. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can overcome, what you can bear. Where is anxiety? It will go away. In due time, God makes sure your soul enjoy blessing of salvation. Yeah, if you have time, read the English translation. Read all the Chinese translation. They all translated as left, left, L-I-F-T, left up. That means promoted. Hey, remember I said a few times, 16 years ago, 16 years ago, I decided to be a preacher. Hey, 16 years later, I'm still what? A preacher. God did not lift me up. I'm still a preacher. Understand? When, when you are in the kingdom of God, who cares about up, down? As long as you are in the kingdom of God, who cares about this up and down? In the kingdom of God, in the church of Christ, what you care is what? Will your soul enjoy blessing of salvation? That come. By the grace of God, I found this here. Hey, next Sunday, I already almost complete. I think I think I already completed that. This time, I have to spend lots of time because I find line 3 meaning. Line 20, what meaning? All the way down to line 63. Then I found the scripture I look for. That meaning. Next week, we will learn that one. Make sure we hear, huh? Call it. Very interesting. Here you have small print. This time we have hundred over hundred lines. I read line three. What meaning? 
Life 20, what meaning? Life 63, what meaning? Okay, next one. This time I found this. In due time, God make sure your soul enjoy the blessing of salvation. Not like this, lift up. Okay, 身高。你在教会信耶稣, Okay, when you come to believe Jesus, who cares about sin? Love or town? Hey, Gordon, learn that. When you come to the church of Christ, everybody humble under the mighty hand of God. Understand? Understand now? That's why for that's why for 60 years I never get promoted. Okay? What we got here? Okay. <clears throat> humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Remember, absolutely not under the hand of Satan. Okay, especially the young one. You are very blessed. I hope that you learn that. Under the mighty hand of God, we have to humble. That's me. By the grace of God, we all are humble. Under the mighty hand of God. In due time, God makes sure your soul enjoy blessing of salvation. That's the right translation I find here. But all the English Bible translation, they did not get this one because line 63 is too long for them. Okay? But by the grace of God, when it comes to this, I have the patience. Sometimes I have to read many times. Over again, over again, and oh, here. That's why I appreciate my wife had one very good thing. Highlighter, highlighter. I said, where is your highlighter? <laughs> Next time, if I have come back, I don't have to do this again. By the grace of God. Now, what is the conclusion? Don't worry about tomorrow. Okay? Let anxiety come and go. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Anxiety will fly away as soon as it comes. <clears throat> hey David, come to say closing prayer.